Okay, if you're making a Discord bot and it's running on anything other than a testing server of yours, you need to be extremely careful. So, if you're nice and you upload your code to GitHub, you know, for people to use as a reference if they need it, I do that because that's how I learned how to do this. Um, be very careful not to give away your bot token like I did. I was an idiot and published the at the time bot token to GitHub. I had previously used insert bot token here, but I accidentally, uh, when I edit my, or when I'm working on the bot, I just edit the bot. The bot runs off of the basically code that's uploaded directly to git. It runs in the GitHub repository. Like this is the git pod, or this is like the local git repository and it runs from this file here. So when I am testing the bot, I always just plug in my bot token. And then when I'm gonna uh, upload it to GitHub, I just replace it with insert bot token here. And that's where I messed up. I forgot to do that and published it. Then someone on GitHub found that bot token and, ready for this, mimicked being me, essentially. I mean, they don't have to be me. As long as you have the bot token, you have control of the bot. The bot, my bot, stayed active the entire time, so anyone... Okay, so the, they deleted everything on this server here, and if it was on any other servers, that server would have been deleted as well. Be very careful. And if I hadn't, or if it had been on other servers, those servers would have been lost, and who would have been to blame? Me. Now, that's a big thing. If especially, there's a danger with hosting your bot, your own bot, and that is other people's stuff being lost. And if you can avoid it, you don't want to host your bot for other people. Especially if you're still working on the bot. If the bot is finalized, or if you run it on, or if you have a separate one that you run on a testing server, that's fine. But you need to be you still need to be extremely careful not to share that bot token. It's very good practice. <laughs> now I got lucky and it was only on my server, although it took a long time to set up. Um, it's not a huge server, whereas if it had it been on like th this is a big example it wouldn't be on here but you know say whoever made vortex bot right they accidentally published the bot token to github the technic discord server would be gone all the messages everything that's not good <laughs> to say the least and it's very dangerous so if you're making a Discord bot, be extremely careful. Because if you're not, something like this could happen. And that's not good. Oh, they just changed their name. Like, <laughs> okay, sure. Anyway, um, be extremely careful if you are developing a Discord bot. Ideally, you would have a separate file that you run your bot from and just have a bot and a server d designated for testing. However, I can't be bothered. So, be very careful. Make sure you check your stuff before you upload it to GitHub. And, fuck me. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this has saved you or has at least stopped this from happening to you. Also, if you're, if you're, if you're gonna um, fucking do that, 
probably don't give me your Discord username. Just a good idea. Oh, also they changed the bot name, the profile pic. Ooh, they also gave me a picture of their face. So that was stupid. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, link to their YouTube channel too, but they're stupid. So, yeah. Bye.